Welcome to a four minutes tips video on Farah and Cassidy. These tips will aim to make you instantly better on these heroes. So let's jump into it. Starting off with Farah, always shoot from behind cover at start of rounds. To add to this, you always want to peek in and out of your flight while shooting. Moving on for Farah rockets, remember when an enemy is beneath you, always aim below them, so near their leg area and below, as this makes it more likely to land your rockets, especially when they're medium to long range. On to Cassidy, and for his shooting, you want to do a thing called aim resetting, which is basically after each shot, resetting your aim to the side of the enemy. This allows you to get a better neck shot off on a strafing enemy. Now not resetting and keeping your aim still does work but only on players with poor movement or that are standing still. Also great to note on Cassidy is he does the most damage at mid range or closer so it's best to use him on mid range maps and mid range areas. You always want to keep in mind when playing Cassidy his damage really falls off once he's long range. For Farah jetpack usage before pressing your jetpack jump ability, if you're able to use your spacebar jetpack hover to get onto high ground, do this first as this will allow you to get higher up on your jetpack jump ability which will allow you to be in flight for longer. You also want to 1 second tap your spacebar jetpack hover while in flight as this will allow you to hover and it will also give you a longer flight. Farah is also good on maps with tall buildings or structures. An example of this would be Iconworld checkpoint 1 attack. For Cassidy E, unless you are in close range, always aim 3 body outlines above the enemy. This helps out a lot in terms of landing your E on distant enemies. You also have the option to save your E versus divers such as Sombra, Reaper and Doomfist. Adding to this tip, Cassidy is great versus mobility heroes like those just mentioned and any heroes that dive into your team. Cassidy's roll ability gives damage reduction so if about to take huge damage or be eliminated, consider rolling in these scenarios like being stuck with echo grenades. Moving on when to use Farah E, you want to use it for combo damage with your rocket shots. This is for when enemies are super low to try and finalize the kill. You also want to use it to knock off enemies from structures or building platforms. Another use for your E is also to create space from divers or to reposition yourself. Finally for the new Farah Mobility right click jetpack, it's great for repositioning and disengaging or chasing down enemies. For Cassidy Ultimate, try to at least get two backliner squishies into your ultimate. Another good combo is to land a shot first on a enemy DPS or support and then use your ultimate. Always remember your ultimate gives you damage reduction and reloads your gun. For your final ultimate tip, Always account for CC, i.e. the Doomfist Punch or Anadar will sleep the Cassidy. You either want to wait for these abilities to be on cooldown or be behind your tank. For Farah Ultimate, you really want to make sure the enemy is low before ulting or combo with an ally ult. Or if you can get a sneaky flank off, you can always go for your flank ults. However, these flank plays are more risky and may take more time to get into the position. Another tip for Farah Ultimate is try position behind cover on your ultimate as you are a standstill target after you press your ultimate. An advanced tip for this would be you want to make sure that enemies that are alive do not have their CC abilities up such as the Anadot. 